Okay, here we are at the end of the first chapter, the first scroll. This is where it ends. And we also come to the first intermission. I've mentioned this before. Um, originally, when I ended one scroll and began another scroll, I just continued the artwork. So it looked like, it would have looked like it's just one continuous long, long, long scroll. Um, in my last draft, I decided to connect, to actually draw a connection. It, the connection looks kind of like sutures or, or ropes that, that tie the two, the two rolls of paper together. Over time, as I was editing the book, the artwork for the book, the pages for the book, I decided to expand that, to, to erase the sutures or the, the ropes, like right here, and just make one large space and put original material, additional material to this. Uh, sometimes there are more poems, usually there are more poems, illustrations, and in this case, puzzles. And this is the first uh, maze puzzle and a poem that goes and poem and illustration that goes along with it. Why did the boat cross the moat? Why did the toad cross the road? Why did the she cross the sea? Life is an endless mystery. So here we have uh, the puzzle I call crossing. Um, there are rules, you have to cross from one end, from one corner to another corner, and there are rules on crossing. You can only jump left to right or up and down in line, and you can only jump over as many spaces as you, as there are um, rocks or squares. So for example, there are three squares here, so you can jump over three spaces. But this takes five spaces, so you can't jump onto this. But you can jump from these three squares to that one. You can also go up and down. So three squares, three spaces, and you can jump into this. If you are on the one square, then you can jump only one space. So you can jump onto this one. You can jump back. Now, if you get yourself stuck on here, you can't jump back onto that. 